What's up everybody and welcome back to 23rd Garage. So today we are back on the F80 M3 and what we wanna do today is get this thing ready for paint. We wanna get it in the booth and all taped up so Paul can spray it in the morning. But before we do all that, we actually need to go ahead and respray the fenders uh, underneath. I mean, we need to retrim them. As you guys can see, the, uh, the paint failed on the inside here. I don't know if it was just a a bad sanding job or if it had something to do with uh, possibly the paint uh, but either way it goes we're going to fix that and I also want to go ahead and reprime the fenders uh, because there's a little bit of metal that's shown through right here and I don't want my paint to lay on bare metal so uh, we'll, we'll take the fenders off we'll reprime the fenders and then we'll trim them out again and then put them back on and on this door we need to prime two of these spots right here I told you guys earlier about what happened here. So we're definitely not going to use a rattle can primer because the, that stuff is just no good. I used to always use that stuff and I thought there was not much of a difference, but there is a huge difference between rattle can and actual two part urethane primer. So it's very important not to use rattle can primer on anything that you want to last a while. Uh, we use it on stuff maybe like under the hood. Uh, a lot, but on any kind of body panels that you want a good quality paint job on, you definitely don't want to use that rattle can stuff. So we'll reprime it with the correct primer and then we'll go around and we'll clean all the edges. We'll clean all the door edges where, uh, you know, you couldn't get, we couldn't get in with the, with the fender on. So, uh, yeah, let's get this thing started. So we got the M3 back out here and we are cleaning it all up and making sure that there is no more residue from the old unactivated clear coat and paint. And uh, I don't think we will be able to tape it today because we did trim out, I didn't even think about this, uh, but we did trim out the fenders today. So there's no way we can put tape on those. Uh, plus when we go to screw them down, I don't want that, you know, the screw, the bolt to mess up that paint. So uh, there's still plenty of work to do here besides that. I actually still have to install the bracing that goes here for the cross member. That's still not installed. So those need to go on before the fenders. And uh, also there's some little foam pieces that have to go back there as well before the fender gets uh, officially installed. And I want to go ahead and, you know, permanently install these fenders on here uh, before I paint it. That way I don't have to mess with them later when it's already done. So right now what we're going to do is clean everything uh, we're going to clean all the jams, all the door jams, all the doors, everything from the back and from the front and make sure that there's no residue on there and then go back over everything with a scuff pad. Make sure everything is sanded down real good. And then tomorrow in the morning, we'll try to get out here as early as possible, get this thing taped up and hopefully painted. Hopefully it turns out good this time. So we got the car ready for paint <laughs> after sanding it like 40 million times and washing it. Uh, we are finally ready to go into the booth. Mark is actually finishing up a bumper in there so we can't pull in there just yet. 
So while we do that, while he does that, I mean, we are going to go ahead and install the bracing that we need to install, which is these side pieces right here, as well as this aluminum piece here. And this is basically the parts that hold the big strut tower. Not strut, what is it called, Nate? Brace? Um, no, the, yeah, it's a brace. the strut bar, strut bar. The big carbon fiber piece. Yeah, right. yeah, so that's the piece of that hold. I actually need to go get that because I'm gonna need that when we do this. So I'll be right back. Here she is, carbon fiber. I wonder what this thing called. Is this is this thing called a uh, a strut bar? What do you guys think? What is this called? I mean, I I I don't even know. It's a boomerang. It's a boomerang, man. Literally. So this thing goes right here, and as you guys can see, it needs to attach somewhere up there. So we are going to go ahead and install those pieces because once we get the fenders on, we won't be able to do that. So we need to do it now. All right, so it's the next day here at 23rd Garage and we are ready to paint the M3. I wanna show you guys what we did under the hood yesterday a little bit. Uh, we've got our strut bars on, uh, both of them, the aluminum one and the carbon fiber one. Cabron, cabron fiber. Uh, looks good. Yeah, the, the fenders turned out really good. The fact that we trimmed them that second time. Yes, yes. I'm very happy that we re-trimmed them and repaint or reprimed them. And now we've got them all blocked out. I probably should not be touching them. But you know me, I'm very handsy. Uh, anyways, so yeah, under the hood, basically all we're lacking is all the little plastics and trims and the cold air intakes, as well as a new oil cover cap. But... Uh, yeah, she is ready. So what we need to do now, we need to line this sucker off with the tape and the uh, plastic. And we actually are going to do it a little bit differently with this one or this time. Here we have our soft edge foam masking. This stuff right here is definitely a must have for every painter, uh, even if you're just a DIY guy because uh, it, you can use it for a lot more in painting. I mean, heck, you, you know what you can use this for? What's if that? you have a leaky door, if you have a leaky door seal in your house, yeah. you can you can actually use this stuff right here. So it's like 360 tape. Well, it's it's a foam. It's a foam and it's got a, a really sticky side to it. And then it has excellent compression quality. So like anything you put this in between is going to, you know, take the shape of the gap. Uh, as you can see right here, for the B post, for the uh, B post jam, you can apply it. You can put it under a hood, you know, a fender gap, a C post, uh, basically any door jam on a vehicle. Uh, you can use this. So that's it's a lot a, easier than having to like line up all the jams. Yes. And here's the thing. So when you line off anything with tape, if you don't bend the tape up, you'll have that really sharp tape line. And what this actually does is it allows your clear coat and base coat to be feathered because of the fact that it's foam, there's not a very sharp edge. So wherever the foam is contacting the uh, vehicle, uh, it's kind of like a, it's a gradual gap between the foam and the vehicle. Yeah, you don't so, ever get that hard line. Yeah, so when you're spraying, instead of it laying down onto a hard line, it's just kind of like, soaking up under that foam and just kind of flattening out as it goes under there. And then when you take the foam off, uh, there's usually if you do everything right, 
uh, there's no line at all. There might be like just like a feathered edge, but uh, a lot better than tape. I'll show you guys how it works. Might as well. All right, so basically you wanna start like past the area that you wanna do. So I would start like right here. That way, you know, you can lock this in with that tape. And then I simply lay it in there and you want to try to get it to where the sticky side is like right there, like that. Oh, and you can open the door and stuff later when you... Yeah, you can open the door. And you want to be careful with this stuff as you stretch it. If you stretch it out, it's going to, it's going to not only get skinnier, but then it will be under tension and you risk it uh, separating from the part that you put it on. And you don't want to put that... You don't want to put that that glue that it has on there too close to the area where you want it to feather because that's when you get a, a bit of a line. And now when we close the door, beautiful. So now you're not getting overspray all up inside the jams and you're still getting that clear coat rolled over that edge. So very useful tool. Very good. 3M knows what they're doing, that's for sure. So let's go ahead and get the rest of this car done. All right, so we got everything taped up and masked up. Looks good. And uh, what are we gonna do now, Paul? Ready for round two. Now this is round three, technically. Oh, round three. Well, technically. round round two for me. Yeah. So we're just gonna go ahead and clean it, tack it, and uh, we're gonna start with a little bit of blending for the hood because the hood is actually the right colors of pearl white, and also the rear quarters where it meets the trunk. Um, we'll put the blending solvent down, and then we'll start with the white base coat, and then pearl, and then clear coat.
like how it turned out right here. Look at that. That like you could not ask for a, a better transition. But it's done. Well, this this part of the job is done. We still need to obviously paint the rest of it. But man, it turned out beautiful. Absolutely perfect. I could not be any more happier. Paul, thank you so much. I know you're watching. Thank you very much, sir. I will also thank you in person. Uh, but man, guys, this thing, for all the pain and suffering that I've gone through with this car, this is like a very good relief. Huge sigh of relief, honestly. Uh, super excited. Now we just need to paint the rockers, the front and rear bumpers, the door handles, and get everything assembled and get this thing on the road. Man, I'm so excited. Nate, you excited? Yeah, I'm 100% um, excited. Man, I am super excited. It's been a long time coming. I've had this car for like six months already. And this is still the condition that it's in. So you guys can imagine how bad I want to drive this thing. Maybe, maybe it doesn't look like it because it has taken so long, but I'm really excited to have this car. I, this has been my dream car ever since I knew what an M3 was. So uh, super excited about that. But yeah, stay tuned for the next video. We are going to be painting all the pieces that I uh, talked about earlier and then uh, assembling it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.